Hey all guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Weaver today. Today we are covering the upcoming new season called Alliance Together in Victory. Uh, we're going to be covering some of this other stuff down here. Um, some of these right here. And that's basically it. I mean, we also have this right here, the brand spanking new Russian tank. Um, and a another brand spanking new tank as well. But we'll definitely get around to just doing that and stuff like that and uh, we're also going to watch this video a little bit but for Warsaw this is telling you it's going to be mostly about World War 2 uh, and plus the holiday ops and it's going to begin on December 6th and end on February 14th which you got a good time to actually complete and yeah you also have some of this right here for like a weekly challenges uh, points and stuff um, let's get right into the video let's put the video on pause for real quick like that let's get rid of that and let's watch this little video there guys our boys are on the brink of war and they've got the tools to get the job done these brave individuals have faced many challenges and for that we owe them our allegiance victory lies in the hands of the brave. For honor, all great things are achievable. And to great soldiers everywhere, we pledge our allegiance. There is one thing though I must want to say about this video uh, right here. Hang on. Wait till it loads a little bit. The ribbons are coming back, guys. Yes. Uh, these were in the game once before, so now they're actually coming back in this upcoming update. Uh, so meaningfully, this one, I think it's like assistance. This is capture, destroy, enemy tank, uh, damage, crits, and spot. This one, I'm not sure what it is, but they are definitely coming back. And I mean, we did see a few other things in there, like for example the toy tanks they are definitely coming back as well for the holiday they're pretty freaking fun expect some videos on that as well uh, we're definitely going to be doing videos on the toy artillery and the toy regular tank as well which yeah and press there's apparently changes coming to artillery as well uh like update uh artillery changes 2.0 i think it is or something like that it's somewhere around here. We we seen it in the video and stuff, but there is artillery changes coming to the game, um, you know, and stuff like that. But now let's get into the exciting point: the awards for the season. First of all, uh, this clear that if you buy the uh, premium pass or the ultimate premium pass, you do get some um, extra goodies. But if you buy just the premium pass, it's pretty much you get a whole bunch of other goodies except two things and that's basically it but if you're in the free side you don't really get too much stuff but you do get a decent amount of stuff and all of that um first of all you do get two compasses one is with the ultimate premium pass and one is with a free side it's only a 2d commander 
unlocked at level 27 and then you get the Anamila 3D Standard Commander at level 45 and that is the her right there with Arnie on the last video we did as well so you do get her as a free commander then there's the Starker skin for the M60A1 level 75 uh, if you have the tank and you're wanting the skin now you could actually get it for free I don't know if you could buy it on the tank right now or what but he has a premium kind of like skin it uh, yeah uh, then you got the tier 8 German Panzer 58 Mutz which is a tier 8 premium medium tank uh, at level 100 I don't know if you're going to get credits or gold if you actually complete um, get the tank so I'm not sure about that but you could get either one completion if you already have the tank then the season premium pass you get the British tier 4 premium AC1 Cento at tier 725 um, it's a it's a small tank, but everybody makes fun of it because of a few reasons why. Um, yeah, and then you also get a another 2D commander called Snow Monster at level 61. Then you get another tier A premium tank, the Quanta Panzer 105, a level at level 75. Not the best lately armor tank to show, but guys get that 105 mil gun, uh, pretty accurate and stuff like that. And then tier 100 for the premium pass, you get a brand spanking new Russian tier 10 premium heavy tank, the Object 780. Uh, this is going to be exciting for me. That is pretty exciting. And this is just telling you that you get that 2,000 gold if you put 2,000 gold to the season pass. And this is if you put into the ultimate premium pass, you get Krampus and the Austrian Rex. So, yeah. Um... For first of all, I would say just go for the uh, standard premium pass uh, because for one, yeah, you're getting that 2,000 gold back. If you open up key cards from last season, you could probably do this, um, but you know, it is what it is, and that's the big thing about it. Uh, I mean, should you put 6,000 gold into it? Well, don't put your money into 6,000 gold. Put your money towards 2,000 gold. Because this is like $14 right here, just by itself. So, and this one is a slightly a little bit more money, I think like $20 some dollars. So, I would prefer to go for this because you do get that 2000 gold back, plus then some because of the key cards and all of that. Um, but also, look at this. See, right here is the World War II Russian Soviet USSR Tier 10 heavy tank in its glory, and then the American. Tier 8 premium medium tank, the Austrian Rex. Um, I've been, I actually watched, I think, Quiggy Baby's videos, tank reviews on these two things, and some of the stats could change from the PC version to console, because that's what console usually does. They usually nerf the tank before they release it on console and stuff like that. But altogether, I gotta say, this season is going to be pretty fun. I'm definitely gonna be playing through it. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm pretty surprised that they put Arnie in the season, but he could be coming in a later kind of missions. We did pronounce that on this, uh, when we did a video on that, uh, a little bit and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, but besides from all of that, I mean, there's a lot of cool other goodies that, that they're not really going to show you in here, um, that you're going to get. I mean, this is a starter pack. See your free new starter pack. Uh, DLC like a soldier personal. Uh, only thing it adds is uh, premium time, three days premium time, uh, two times silver boosters, three times vehicle XP boosters, and four times uh, commander boosters. You get five of each of those in three days of premium time. Oh, uh, anything else? And season tankers. Well, okay. Wait here. Ah, wait here is telling you. German Tier 8 Panzer 58 Mutz. If you already have it, you will get 3 million credits out of it. So basically, you're getting 3 million credits. The Tier 4 British tank, you'll get 480,000 credits. And the Kunze Panzer, 4 million credits. So you will be getting credits out of them. And uh, for Force Stalker skin, if you already have it, 800,000 credits. Um, so. 
basically meaning if you already bought, you're getting some credits off that. So if you already have all of this, you're going to be getting the credits out of it and stuff like that. So that's actually a pretty good idea because I don't know if I have the AC1 Sentinel. Uh, I do know I have the Pencil 50 in wood, so I'll be getting 3 million out of that. And I don't have this, so I won't be getting that 4 million, but oh well, it's a new premium tank for me to get and for me to do a tank review once we get up to tier 8. Um, we already talked about this tank. Now, like I said, some stats could change rapidly from the PC. I don't know how the PC version is. Um, if you guys know anything about the PC version, please let me know. And same with the Austrian Rex as well. Right here are some of the stats uh, for you guys to look at real quick. And then right here is the Commander Mila 3D. She's wearing her outfit. Right here is the Krumpus 2D and the Snow Monster. And this is the 3D Krumpus. And right here is the Season Awards. Uh, complete level 100. Yeah, season level skips. You could also, you know, skip it with gold, but I wouldn't prefer that. Uh, simply because that's just a waste of gold trying to skip the season rewards. But, you know, guys, with all that said, we actually did cover this pretty good, I gotta say. Um, uh, this is my first time I've actually covered. Well, actually, no, is it? No, I don't think it is. Or is it? But whatever. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.